At some point in our history, children's toys used to be mad dangerous, so much so that nowadays it'd be illegal to even sell them to kids. But hey, before the internet, children had to amuse themselves somehow, even if it meant potential death. A parent's worst nightmare is to buy something for their children and realize that it was a death trap all along. From a science kit that could literally kill you to the most dangerous toy in history that looks completely harmless, here are the 20 most dangerous toys ever made. Number 20. Crocodile Dentist Meet Kevin Kohler, or as he's known on the internet, the Backyard Scientist. This man thinks that children these days have become way too soft, partially because of how safe modern toys are. But in his opinion, modern toys are also excruciatingly boring, so he made, well, some changes to a few toys. Him and his friends gathered to make some experiments. To the crocodile dentist, he didn't add razor blades to the teeth, that would just be a bloodbath. He did, however, give the toy the snapping power of a spring-loaded rat trap. Yeah, I bet that no kid will ever be able to play this game with such speed. But this wasn't the only modification that a crocodile dentist toy has suffered lately. Two Japanese thrill seekers have a different take on what they think is funny. These guys actually attached a bunch of razor blades to the top of the croc's mouth. Doesn't it look like a lot of fun? I'm kidding, of course. This looks absolutely terrifying and a perfect recipe for disaster, if you ask me. And they actually play this macabre game on camera. Would you go through with it? They both look quite hesitant to do the first move, but once they get the flow going, they're actually playing. They manage to push on the croc's teeth for a few seconds until, inevitably, one of them tries to push down on the wrong tooth and the croc's mouth closes. Now, surprisingly, the injury was wasn't too bad, but whatever you do, do not give this modified toy to a kid. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Polly Pocket Polly Pocket toys are super fun and cute, but did you know that they can also be lethal? So much so that toy maker Mattel had to recall about 2.4 million Polly Pocket dolls and accessories that had magnets. These teeny tiny little magnets can apparently come out of the toys and be swallowed by children. Once inside the body, a foreign object like a magnet can do a lot of damage to the internal organs, especially if the child swallowed more than one magnet. Actually, not one or two, but three children were reported to have suffered very serious injuries after they had swallowed more than one magnet. All three toddlers suffered intestinal perforations that required surgery to fix. If the magnets attract each other once inside the body, they can also cause infections and blockage, which can be fatal. The danger as well is that these magnets are so small that when they fall out of the Polly Pocket dolls, it goes undetected by the parents. As it seems, these toys were manufactured in China and sold at a discount. The CPSC said that parents should immediately take these playsets away from children. Mattel offered a voucher for a replacement toy of the customer's choice, up to the value of the returned item, of course. Number 18. Children's Wood Burning Kits Pyrography pens can get hot, very hot, so never leave a child unattended while using a pyrography pen. An adult must be present at all times. First off, make sure the kid's holding the pen by the rubber handle and teach them to allow some time for the pen to cool down completely before handling and sorting it. Another very important tip is to always make sure the pen is turned off and unplugged when you're not using it. But even if you're super careful and you take the time to explain everything to the kid, always keep in mind that they're holding a pyrography pen that is hot enough to burn wood, so it can also do real damage to the skin. Apparently, lots of children get scared the first time they use a pyrography pen, but once they start burning away, they tend to become very comfortable with the process rather quickly. If there's a little bit of smoke coming out of the wood, that's normal, but this usually happens if the pen is too hot or when pressed too hard into the wood. Number 17. Creepy Crawlers the original Creepy Crawlers machines will leave you stunned and will make you wonder how the heck kids managed to survive the 60s. This toy was released for the first time in 1964 under the name Creepy Crawlers Thing Maker. It came with a little oven the kids would use to cook up the chemicals. And if that doesn't sound super dangerous already, just keep watching this video. 
The little oven could reach very high temperatures, which was only half the problem. But don't get me wrong, giving your kid an oven that reaches 350 degrees is never a good idea. But the most dangerous part of this toy was actually the chemicals the kids were breathing in. The gel that came with the creepy crawlers thing maker to make bugs was called plastic goop, and it was not exactly safe. The gel came in a bunch of different fun colors, and its job was to harden into the plastic-like texture we all remember too well. But while a plastic goop was cooking in the nifty little oven, it would give off noxious fumes that could make kids very sick. And this wasn't even the only issue. Some kids were also burning themselves with the super hot oven. They had to change the formula for the plastic goop, and they did. One of the versions of the toy was the Incredible Edibles, and yep, you guessed it, the bugs were edible pieces. But not to worry, they were sugarless. Number 16. Inflatable Baby Floats one of the most overlooked sources of high-risk injury for children younger than five years old at the pool are inflatable toys. And recently, there's a social media sensation going viral of babies using baby neck floats. Now, this may seem like an adorable summer activity, but it can actually be incredibly dangerous for your baby. In fact, the pint-sized swim aids should not go anywhere near infants' necks, mainly because an air-filled floaty can very well deflate, putting kids at risk of drowning. Neck floats for babies scare me to death, and I hope they scare parents too," says Kieran Quinlan, associate professor of pediatrics at Rush University Medical Center. He's also a former chair of the American Academy of Pediatrics, so he should know what he's talking about, right? These are potential death traps, he adds. Not to mention, being held afloat by the neck isn't too good for the development of the spine. There's potential for very serious injuries that could leave a baby in bad shape forever. Babies may look absolutely adorable and cute wearing neck floats, but it's simply not worth it. Number 15. Austin Magic Pistol a magic pistol that shot ping pong balls with explosive force? Of course, it comes from Texas. The Austin Magic Pistol was, in fact, so dangerous that it has been classified by some American states as an actual firearm. And we all know that giving something potentially lethal to a kid is never a good idea. The toy was manufactured in the late 40s, but thankfully, it was only sold briefly. While the projectile shooting gun was designed to fire only ping pong balls, it did so with a very concerning force, and it was powered by explosive chemicals. The momentum necessary to deploy the ping pong balls actually came from the chemical reaction of calcium carbide and water. So yeah, children and toddlers were literally handling materials that, when mixed, would expand into acetylene gas and simply explode. Calcium carbide is extremely reactive as well. Just dripping a little bit of saliva on it could result in a fireball. Even with parental supervision, this toy could result in a scorched wrist or worse. There's also the fact that acetylene gas is concerningly flammable. Any kid using these guns back in the day are lucky not to have died in a house fire. Number 14. Science Whiz Bottle Rocket Party this seemingly harmless toy makes the list of the 10 most dangerous toys yearly. The organization called World Against Toys Causing Harm, or WATCH, has issued the list to remind parents of the potential hazards in some toys. The fact that this toy is still on the market is a mystery. This kit is designed to have children make a bottle rocket of their own, with adult supervision, of course. Zero. It's only meant to be used outdoors, never inside the house for obvious reasons. And even if the adults take all the precautions necessary to have a fun party instead of a tragic accident, with toys that have chemicals and some kind of combustion, anything can happen, especially around small children. The kit includes rocket tubes, stoppers, and even yellow caution tape, but none of the other necessary and recommended items like a bicycle pump or safety goggles. Science Whiz Bottle Rocket Party has been on the market since 2005 and retails for around $15, and there have already been a few accidents since. Number 13. Moon Shoes We all know that trampolines have sent over a million people to the emergency room over the years, but for some reason, during the 90s, toy manufacturers thought, hey, why not strap two tiny little trampolines to children's feet? What could go wrong, right? That's how the moon shoes were born, and to add some fun to it, they decided to market them as a toy that would simulate the feeling of walking on the moon. 
You can imagine how excited kids got, especially after seeing Neil Armstrong taking the first steps on the moon. The toy basically looked like a plastic bucket with rubber bands stretched across the top to attach to a kid's foot. Once strapped in and secured, the kid would walk and wobble around, but it didn't take him too long to start bouncing off like an unstoppable kangaroo. But of course, these toys led to a variety of broken ankles and knee scrapes. Also, depending on the child's weight, the parents had to spend over half an hour attaching additional straps and rubber bands, which sometimes they failed to do. Then came the 90s, and along with it, the new design of the moon shoe, which was probably inspired by the satellite jumping shoes from the 50s and 60s. And this new version of the toy was, if anything, even more dangerous. This time, kids were hopping around in giant metal springs. Number 12. Easy Bake Oven this may be one of the most iconic toys. With four decades on the market, how safe is it really? Well, actually, the Easy Bake Oven has been recalled for the second time in less than a year. Well, that doesn't sound too good. The parent company of the toy, Hasbro Inc., has had to recall as many as 985,000 Easy Bake Ovens because kids were getting their little hands and fingers trapped in the front opening, and of course, some of them got very serious burns. Keep in mind, this is a toy that actually bakes edible goods, so it can get pretty hot. In February 2007, the company received 249 reports of kids getting their hands caught in the ovens, and 16 of those reports were for third-degree burns. One five-year-old little girl also needed partial amputation of her finger truly a parent's worst nightmare. As a result, Hasbro Inc. is urging all parents that own an Easy Bake Oven to contact their exchange department to get a Hasbro product voucher. But if you ask me, a new toy from the same company that burned my kid's hand isn't gonna cut it. The company has announced that they're working on bringing a new model to the marketplace as soon as they can. Let's hope this time they'll conduct all the necessary tests to make sure kids are safe using their product. Number 11. Sky Dancers. Galoob Toys Incorporated, in cooperation with the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, is recalling about 8.9 million of these little flying dolls. The reason why this is happening is because the hard plastic sky dancers can fly rather rapidly in unpredictable directions, and they can easily hit and injure both kids and adults. In 2000, Galoob had received 170 reports of dolls hitting children and adults, resulting in 150 reports of injuries, including scratched corneas and even incidents of temporary blindness. There were also some broken teeth, a mild concussion, a broken rib, and a facial laceration that required stitches. Who knew that these tiny little dancing dolls could be so dangerous? The package clearly states ages 5 and up only, and not for children under 3 years. But apparently, the princess ballerina type dolls can be harmful for anybody of any age group. Galoob Inc. released a statement declaring that all consumers should stop using the dolls immediately. The toys were supposed to fly upwards and gently fall back down, but if you were a 90s kid, you know that this never really happened. Number 10. Stats 38 Quick Folding Trampoline We've covered earlier in this video how potentially dangerous or even lethal trampolines can actually be. Well, they invented a small trampoline that children can use indoors, just to make things a little more savage, I guess. The Stats 38 Quick Folding Trampoline has a very high hazard for head, neck, and other bodily injuries. The World Against Toys Causing Harm claims that this deadly trampoline is sold in the toy aisle for children as young as six years old. To be fair, the package does carry a warning that reads, landing on the head or neck can cause serious injury, paralysis, or death, even when landing in the middle of the bed. Now, with a notice like that, what parent wouldn't buy this death trap of a toy? The thing is, despite the clear instructions that tell you you shouldn't land on your head, the product can easily be used incorrectly and only with adult supervision. But the association points out the fact that in the Stats 38 Quick Folding Trampolines box, there's a photo that shows a child bouncing all alone. The group does not deem this toy appropriate for small children. Number 9. Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids 
Yet again, a potentially very dangerous toy released by Mattel. The Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids entered the marketplace in 1996, just in time for the Christmas season. The concept behind the toy was that children would be able to feed the doll pretend food. The doll came with a variety of plastic snacks, which could then be removed from inside the toy's little backpack and be reused. But the problem was, the jaws on these little toys were actually pretty powerful, and they would only stop chewing once they had finished eating. So if a kid happened to get their little fingers or hair near the doll's mouth, the doll would simply keep chewing away at them. One mom even had to cut her daughter's hair to free her from the evil jaws of the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids doll. Only a year after the release of the problematic doll, Mattel had to pull the toy and offered a refund to anyone who had purchased it. Number 8. Mini Hammock Hammocks are a perfectly safe way of snoozing off or getting some relaxed time, but only if you're used to using them from a very young age because they're part of your culture. For people who have never been in a hammock, it can be a little chaotic at first, and children are not an exception at all. But for some reason, somebody thought it'd be a great idea to release into the marketplace a mini hammock for children. It was first introduced in the 80s, but tragically quickly proved to be an insanely dangerous toy. It was made out of lightweight nylon mesh, and they were supposed to be a humorous novelty. But oh boy, were they wrong. Sold for only $3.99 a piece, everyone could afford them, and they were designed just as much to give adults a chuckle as they were to entertain the little ones. But tragically, the fun and games came to a halt when children started to actually die. The mini hammocks measured exactly 7 feet wide by 20 feet long. It had a nylon rope attached to each extremity like any other regular hammock, but the toy came without spreader bars, which could have quite literally saved lives. This seemingly harmless toy was responsible for at least 17 deaths. All the victims were between the ages of 5 and 17 years old. Number 7. Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game Hannah Montana was an iconic Disney TV show about a teenage girl who was by day just a normal student, but by night secretly was a world-famous rock star. The girl in the show was Miley Cyrus, who was one of the biggest pop stars in the whole world. They made a lot of merchandise for the show, from toys to clothing to accessories. The show was an absolute hit and made a lot of money for a lot of people. But back in 2007, it was discovered that the Hannah Montana Pop Star card game was somewhat poisonous. Basically, the cards came with more than 75 times the legal limit of lead allowed in a product. As you may already know, lead is insanely poisonous, and the human body has a very hard time breaking it down. What's more concerning is that the company that made the cards could not demand a recall because of a technicality. The poisonous substance was found in the vinyl coating of the cards and not on the product itself, and that was not against the United States regulations at the time. So you know what to do if you have a set of the Hannah Montana Pop Star card game. You know what to do. Number 6. Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper And yet again, another deadly toy made by, you guessed it, Mattel. This one was created in the late 60s. It's a very cool spaceship that can fire off a plastic missile. And unlike any other spring-loaded weapon of total destruction, the little plastic missile could easily lodge itself into a child's throat or hit them in the eye. But this toy has a rather darker history behind it. Sadly, a four-year-old little boy named Robert Jeffrey Warren tragically died in 1978 after he placed the nose of the toy into his mouth and accidentally fired the little plastic missile down his throat. Little Jeffrey later died from complications after choking on the missile. After this terrible accident and a few others that were reported to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, Mattel decided to put warning stickers on all their toys that could fire lethal missiles. Thankfully, the choking hazard sticker was not the only preventative measure that Mattel took to make their product safer for kids. They also created another version of the Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper with a pretend laser torpedo that does not leave the toy. Number 5. CSI Crime Scene Investigations Fingerprint Examination Kit what kid doesn't dream of becoming a world-renowned detective capable of catching all the bad guys out there? And this kit made you feel like a real-life forensic scientist looking for clues. It sounds like the most fun toy in the world, except it could also kill you. 
In fact, the crime scene toy inspired by the CBS TV show CSI Crime Scene Investigation contained asbestos. A California asbestos victim advocacy group called the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization filed a lawsuit against CBS Corporation. They say that laboratory tests have confirmed the presence of asbestos in the powder used for fingerprint dusting that comes with the kit. And not just any kind of asbestos, but substantial quantities of tremolite asbestos, which is considered as one of the most lethal forms of asbestos. One-time exposure has already been linked to lung disease, and mesothelioma can develop years later. Mesothelioma is a cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. It usually occurs in the linings of the lungs or the abdomen. The average life expectancy is 18 to 31 months after diagnosis. Number 4. Aqua Dots the very popular toy Aqua Dots have been confirmed to be coated with an industrial chemical that, when ingested, can turn into gamma hydroxybutyrate, also known as the date rape drug. This drug can cause seizures, coma, or even death in children. Chinese authorities are recalling millions of toys. The United States authorities have recalled more than 4 million of the brightly colored little beads after a few kids got extremely sick after ingesting them in Australia. Aqua Dots are little plastic beads that can be arranged in many different shapes, and even if the package warns that the toy can be dangerous if ingested, it does not disclose the fact that the beads can turn into a very powerful anesthetic drug that can potentially kill a child. The toy was created by the Australia-based Moose Enterprise Company, which contracted a factory in Hong Kong to manufacture them. This is just one more toy in a string of recalls of unsafe products made in China. A launch of a product safety cleanup has already been put in place, and it shut down hundreds of toy factories in the Shenzhen area. The greed that makes toy companies cut production costs by contracting factories based in China is putting the lives of children in danger, and it has to stop. Number 3. Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory this cool-looking toy allowed kids to measure radioactivity and prospect for radioactive ores. That already sounds horrifically dangerous. I mean, children and radioactivity should never be in the same sentence, you know what I mean? This 50s science kit came with one warning. Users should not take ore samples out of their jars, for they tend to flake and crumble, and you run the risk of having radioactive ore spread out in your laboratory. So, yeah, but if that's not enough to convince you that this toy was crazy dangerous, keep watching this video. The kit included four small jars with actual uranium inside them. Basically, they thought it was perfectly safe to sell children a kit containing one of the most dangerous substances known to man in the universe. They thought kids would use the enclosed instruments to measure the sample's radioactivity, observe radioactive decay, and also go prospecting for radioactive ores. Look, I don't know who was running the Gilbert Company back in those days, but they were clearly out of their minds. I mean, sure, in the 60s, everyone was terribly scared of uranium, and these kinds of toys put a positive spin on radiation. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was also designed to inspire interest in science and engineering, which is an incredible thing. Actually, when the kit first came out, it was one of the most elaborate science kits available. It came with beta, alpha, beta, and gamma radiation sources, a cloud chamber, a simple divide for watching atoms decay, an electroscope, and a Giger counter, along with a 60-page instruction manual and a guide to mining uranium. Number 2 Toy guns, including BB guns. Did you know that BB guns and pellet weapons are not included in gun control laws? They are often sold as children's toys, but they can cause very serious injuries, especially when they involve vulnerable surface organs, such as the eye. In other words, messing around with one of these toy guns can easily take someone's eye out, kid. And something capable of doing that simply should not be given to a child. There was a study that covered more than 360,000 children who were treated in United States emergency room departments for injuries related to firearms. In 19 alone, they found that 16,456 were caused by BB guns. The numbers decreased significantly over the years. In 2016, the figure plummeted to 8,585. But still, let's put things into perspective. In 2016, a child is being treated for non-powder gun-related injuries in the United States every single hour. But the issue isn't just BB guns. Any kind of toy gun can be extremely problematic. That includes pellet guns, paintball guns, and airsoft guns. All three types of toy guns are famous amongst healthcare workers because of the severity of the injuries they cause. So, yeah. Maybe we ought to think twice before we add a potentially deadly weapon to a child. Number 1. Lawn Darts or Jarts 
And for the final topic of today's video, let's finally reveal the most dangerous toy of all time. Bet you never thought it would be lawn darts. These seemingly harmless toys first entered the marketplace in the 60s, and they were made by various manufacturers. But in general, they were 12 inches long with a heavy tip of metal on one end and plastic fins at the other end. The metal tips were super blunt, so they wouldn't cut the hands of the consumers. However, they remained quite pointy and heavy. The concept was to play with four people in two teams. Each team would toss the lawn dart into the other team's plastic rings. It was a very entertaining game, but certainly not one for children. A group of people started to advocate for the toy to be moved out of the toy section and to keep them only in the sporting goods area. Can we ask you about the display of these items? But it was too late. Between 1978 and 1987, 6,700 lawn dart injuries were treated in hospital emergency rooms. Over three-fourths of those injuries occurred to kids. It was such a horrific situation that lawn darts were officially banned in the United States in 1988. As you can see, not everything that's colorful and marketed for children is actually safe. Parents need to be ever hyper aware of what they give their little ones if they want to avoid a tragedy. What about you? Have you ever gotten hurt using a toy? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.